Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been got away from YouTube for so long and that's probably because this has really shook in a core with me and my classes. All my classes have switched to online so I haven't really gotten the time to record as much as I want to. The topic at hand that I will talk about today is our architectural um, presentations during a, a pandemic and the tips I want to give are I actually wrote this down because it's easier for me to remember is always get your point across now since that every class is online now you have to really be by your computer and look into the camera screen and some and some professors they want you to have your camera on so you would have to really be focused and engaging when you're getting your point across on camera and also to be confident in, in what you're saying on the screen my next tip is to let your your, your rhino model do the talking for you i mean you already done the model you already done the work just let your your, 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 your yeah. just let your model breathe and, and, and let the jury and the professor see the outcome of all the work you have done this semester it's 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 so much you can say about your model but it's really me looking at your model is going to be like hmm I actually like that you did this and I actually like that you did this. Can you go back to, to, to that the next slide and see that view? Wow, this is very good at, at, ca at capturing this moment right here. You did a very good job doing that. See, you are letting your work speak for you instead of you speaking for it, if that makes sense. And my next tip is to stay on point of what you're talking about. I know it's easy to get sidetracked and talk about a bunch of other things. You know, you could talk about... You get inspired by a certain work, but always remember to run that um, idea back to your model so that you don't lose track and focus. Because some professors do time you during your pre presentations and tell you to hurry up. As for me, my, my professor gave us, I think it was like five or six minutes to present. So we really had to go, we really had to get our point across as quick, quickly as possible without feeling like the feeling like being our presentation was rushed my next tip is to make sure your slides are in order this is crucial i don't know about anybody else but my professor used mural and the, the, and that's basically a website where um a bunch of a lot of students um post their work and we, we post our work in a way of organizing it as we would if we was actually in the class itself so she has the boards lined up and then the, and there's actually a column where you have to move your board over because if there's a class of 25 people then it's going to be 25 times five that like like i said i'm not good at math but just know that is being rearranged so and it's, and it's depending on how much slides you're going to need to to express your point. So that's another thing you have to look, out, to look out for. Make sure your slides are organized so that when you present or when you present or when your professor pulls up your slides, they're able to um, click through your slides without any problems. My next tip is to think about the views that you, you are collecting from your Rhino model. Now, you guys might, might think the views do they even make sense to take certain views to be honest when it comes to your views make sure you go with your views that are more detailed because the more detailed views is, is is better than having a bunch of views that aren't really detailed or full fully expressed to their fullest point so when the jurors have questions they'll be they'll be looking at these views like this kind of doesn't look finish or incomplete or it doesn't look done whereas them studying their attention on what is actually finished and what actually look nice it could weigh out the options of how the presentation goes and what they study on and then my final tip i want to say is just relax yes we're in a pandemic and yes it's a lot of stress and our sexual classes are no walk in the park even though i'm doing them at home it seems to be a lot harder a lot more frustrating but 
you do have to keep your composure at all times even if you don't like what a, what a, what a jury or your professor is saying about your model or your rhino model these are my tips i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video um comment down below what are some of the tips you use when you're presenting your your model or project on online to the jury or the professors bye